Let's go. And we will sing. Oh. Thank God it's weekend, the very first weekend of the new year 2023. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Well, this is your life boy today, and it's part of the ways by which you can actually enjoy your life when you are anchored to your life boy today. Your life boy today wants to tell you about perfect love. Today is Saturday, the 7th of January, 2023. Perfect love. We'll be taking our reading from the gospel according to St. Matthew in chapter 5. Our reading today will be from the 43rd verse. Are you set? Let's go. You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that it may be sons of your father so that you may be sons of your father who is in heaven for he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the just and the unjust for if you love those who love you what reward have you do not even the tax collectors do the same and if you salute only your, mem your brethren, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? You therefore must be perfect as your Father, your Heavenly Father is perfect. This is the cause gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Perfect love He's showing forgiveness to others. There will always be people with whom you will have disputes, with whom you will have disagreements. They are there in your school as a student. They are there in your places of work, whether in public or private employment. They are there in the church. Even amongst priests and pastors in church, yes, we do disagree. And eventually, we have to find ways of agreeing and forgiving one another. That is perfect love. And that is what we commend to you today. That is what Jesus was speaking about. That was Jesus being reported himself, that you need to love even your neighbors. He was referring to what was written in the law of Moses. And he himself said he had come to perfect the law. And that in perfecting the law, that love should also be perfect. And that perfect love is that you love even those that you think do not love you. Those that you think will not support you in one thing or the other, take their matters to God. Do not take any law into your hands. Don't do any form of self-help. The way the laws of the land would not support self-help, so it's the same way that God will not support self-help. Take the matters to God. Take everything to God, believing that perfect love will resolve everything. You will understand perfect love if you understand love at all. Jesus Christ is love. Are you in love at all? Are you in Jesus Christ? If you are not, I want to send an invitation to you this beautiful weekend that you come to understand perfect love. And as I send out that invitation, I hope you will just say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I want to be part of the perfect love that is you. I have been a sinner. Therefore, forgive me of all the sins of the past. And from today, give me the grace to know you the more, that it may be well with me 
From today, I pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. If you said that prayer, welcome to the full of perfect law. You need to find the Bible believing church close to you. I always recommend the Anglican Church of Rokia State Extension, where I am priest in charge. You can find us. If you want to join us? Join us tomorrow, 10 o'clock in the morning, in the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools, Unikon and Kokyo Drive. Rokia State Extension, we should go. We worship there 10 o'clock every Sunday. And if you want to join us midweek, you can join us in the late afternoon, Wednesday by 5 p.m. We meet us there having our midweek services. And we'll be able to tell you, tell you the more about perfect love. For today, as you go, you need to remember that perfect love is essential for you. For let's say this prayer, say, help me, O God, today to seek reconciliation with those that I'm not yet in good terms with that I may be able to showcase perfect love. I pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So go out today. And remember, even as you go out today, today is the last day of Christmas 2022 into early 2023. This Christmas light that you see behind me, you won't see tomorrow again till Advent later this year. And I pray that by the time the Christmas lights come again, later this year in December 2023, that you and I will be here together to celebrate imperfect love. God bless you. I joy you faithful. I call you faithful.